Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medic Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I'm going to be explaining a little bit about the new uh, wall split tool, or split wall tool, sorry. Uh, and that is on the uh, second toolbar of the Medic Wall Plugin. This is the Medic Wall Tools, and you can see that here we have a few um, extra icons at the end that are still not haven't been functional for a while. Uh, one is the join join tool, one is the stretch wall tool, and one here is also the um, split wall tool. So just recently I've gone ahead and set up the split wall tool now so that it should work and I just wanted to show you guys how uh, you can use that. So first of all I just went ahead and created a foundation. Well actually I created an initial foundation and then I threw four walls up and then I realized I wanted to bump it out. Okay, so we're going to do a little bump out here, and I want to demonstrate to you how we can do that with the split wall tool. <coughs> so rather than delete this extra wall along here, this one right here, and then recreate it, um, I mean I could always do that, but I've got some windows maybe uh, in here that you know I've already set up, and I don't want to have to redo all that work. So what I'm going to try to do is split the wall here push this wall out and then add the additional wall. So first of all what I'm going to do is just go ahead and turn off um, our sheeting and cladding, cladding so we can kind of see what's happening a little easier. And I'm going to also turn off the gypsum layer and the interior of the, of the structure. So we just kind of got the bare bones here. <coughs> so basically to split a wall, very simple, you just um, click the split wall tool, go ahead and click as you mouse over it highlights the wall uh, panels click the wall panel that you want to split and then you'll notice you'll have this kind of like little dividing plane that pops up and as you mouse along um, you know you can set the position of where you want that split to occur at. So I'm going to put that split right there and to do that I'm just going to put it on this grid line here and <clears throat> now you'll notice right away that um, the wall is split. So now there's actually two different assemblies here created. So now we've got this one and we have this one. Um, <coughs> and you know you can go ahead and move this wall assembly, um, you know, you can always move wall assemblies, but if you move it, it's not going to stretch this other wall with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use the um, wall move tool so that we get this other wall stretched with it. So to do that, we just click this uh, move wall tool down here, select the wall we want to move, and then let's bring it out to this line right here. Okay, so now you can see that by doing that with the move wall tool, we were able to successfully stretch this wall out and you can see when these two were split you know they're no longer you know it didn't cause anything to happen here because when you have two walls butted up against each other the the plugin recognizes that that's not a, a, a you know a conjoined wall situation so it just allows them to move independently of each other so now to complete this it's rather simple we just go ahead and draw our wall and <coughs> just start here at this corner outside of framing bring it here to the outside of framing not to here you want to bring it out to here and then um, go ahead and hit go and then hit spacebar to jump out and now you can see that we've gone ahead and everything's linked up properly and if we turn on our sheeting and cladding again um, we can see that everything should be as as we would expect it to be and we'll go ahead and turn on the trim as well <coughs> So there you go. Now we've got the uh, the walls lined up on that foundation just like we would like. So basically, all I did was I just I you know you can go ahead and split a wall any any way you like, but I put a, I split it right there, and then I just pushed this wall out, and then added the extra wall. And by doing that, I didn't have to re you know de re delete this wall and recreate all these windows or doors for the whatever it might be. So that is one use I think of the. Um, of the split wall tool it just allows you to you know cut a wall up and then if you need to push it out you can do that um, let's just go ahead on this other wall just to demonstrate like for instance you maybe uh, you might want to do like a little bump out and let's go ahead and do that one more time now we're going to split this one okay and now in this case because we're we're not we don't have any issues of wall stretching we can either use the move tool or we could just, you know, move the wall itself just with the native tools. So that's just what I'm going to do. And see, and then once you've done that, then you go ahead and add your new walls in that you want to join back up. And let's just demonstrate that real quick. Turn this back off. 
turn back off our cladding and our sheathing just so we can get to those points real quick. So I'll just go ahead and click uh, the draw wall, t draw wall tool, go to this outside corner. And it, remember, you always want to go to the outside exterior corner if you want these things to link up properly. Okay. And so there you have that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time. And notice I always start going left to right um, because that's the way the plugin is designed to work. It, it always the start is always on the left, and then it's, and the end is always on the right. Okay, so just go right there. <coughs> okay, and there's a what I call a pop out. And so we've gone ahead and. Um, you know, with the split wall tool, it allows us to not basically not to have to re recreate these walls. I mean, we could always do that. We could just delete the one wall and then just come along here, boom, 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 and then recreate the wall that way. Um, so there's there's more than one ways to to accomplish the task. But anyways, this just gives you an, yet another option. Um, the split wall tool, like I said, is probably the most beneficial where you have a situation where you've already configured a number of windows or door openings or garage doors or something along this wall maybe some in you know in wall columns and you don't want to have to recreate all that uh, so it's just easier to split the wall and then go ahead and move it anyways if you have any questions on this uh, new tool uh, give me a shout um, I'm always available by email or phone and I thank you very much